we all heard of the mysterious and monstrous thing in the space called black hole. These are spaces where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. But there is a more monstrous thing in the universe that is the exact opposite of black hole called white holes. A white hole is a bizarre cosmic object which is intensely bright and from which matter gushes rather than disappears. In other words, it's the exact opposite of a black hole. They are predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of gravity and are most often mentioned in the context of wormholes in which a black hole acts as the entry point to a tunnel through space and time, ending in a white hole somewhere else in the universe. But unlike black holes, scientists find it hard to resolve the mystery of where white holes exist or how they would be formed. But now, scientists have a new fighter in space, the James Webb Telescope, where holes exist or how they'd be formed. In this video, we will show you how the new James Webb Telescope is finally proving Albert Einstein's theory of white holes. James Webb Telescope is the NASA's newest space observatory exactly on schedule in its commissioning phase. The science team outlined their plan to make the most of this $10 billion opportunity. Launched on December 5 from the Korou spaceport in French Guiana, the $10 billion telescope reached the Lagrange point on January 25 after a 15 lakh kilometer long journey. The telescope is designed primarily to detect light in the infrared in order to observe sources such as the first galaxies and protostars that radiate at those wavelengths. Since infrared satellite observatories must be protected from thermal radiation, a sun shield about 150 square meters, 1600 square feet in area will be deployed to protect the telescope. Since there is no rocket wide enough to hold the JWST in its deployed state, both the sun shield and the mirror were launched folded and have unfolded in space. The James Webb Space Telescope will not be in orbit around the Earth, like the Hubble Space Telescope is. It will actually orbit the Sun 1.5 million kilometers, 1 million miles, away from the Earth at what is called the second Lagrange point or L2. The L2 point is ideal for Webb because the gravitational forces of the Sun and Earth will basically ensure the spacecraft doesn't have to use much thrust to stay in orbit and it will allow the telescope to have an unimpeded view of the universe. Unlike Hubble, which moves in and out of Earth's shadow every 90 minutes, the position of Webb also means continuous. Stable communication is possible between teams on Earth and the space observatory using the deep space network composed of three massive antenna ground stations in Australia, Spain and California. Now that Webb is in orbit, the spacecraft will spend the next five months calibrating its instruments. The first images captured by the observatory are expected this summer. One of the deep space mysteries James Webb Telescope will solve is the truth about existence and formation of white holes. What truth will the JWST uncover about these unknown but mighty and mysterious objects? To understand the truth of white holes, we have to first understand about what are black holes. A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when a star is dying. Because no light can get out, people can see black holes. They are invisible. Space telescopes with special tools can help find black holes. The special tools can see how stars that are very close to black holes act differently than other stars. Black holes can be big or small. Scientists think that the smallest black holes are as small as just one atom. These black holes are very tiny but have the mass of a large mountain. Mass is amount of matter or stuff in an object. Another kind of black hole is called stella. 
Its mass can be up to 20 times more than the mass of the Sun. There may be many, many stellar mass black holes in Earth's galaxy. Earth's galaxy is called the Milky Way. The largest black holes are called supermassive. These black holes have masses that are more than 1 million suns together. Scientists have found proof that every large galaxy contains a supermassive black hole at its center. The supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy is called Sagittarius. It has a mass equal to about 4 million suns and would fit inside a very large ball that could hold a few million Earths. Einstein's theory predicts the existence of singularity at the center of black holes, a state of infinite gravity which would prevent anything from passing through to the white hole on the other side. However, some theorists think that a combination of Einstein's theory and quantum theory points to a new way of thinking about white holes. Instead of being the exit from a wormhole, they may be slow motion replay of the formation of the original black hole. The process starts when an old massive star collapses under its own weight and forms a black hole. But then quantum effects occurring around the surface of the black hole halt further collapse to a singularity and instead begin to gradually turn the black hole into a white hole that spewing out the original star matter again. A white hole looks exactly like a black hole, it has mass, it might spin, a ring of dust and gas could gather around the event horizon, the bubble boundary separating the object from the rest of the universe. But if they keep watching, the crew might witness an event impossible for a black hole. Physicists describe a white hole as a black hole's times reversal. A video of a black hole played backwards much as a bouncing ball is the time reversal of a falling ball. While a black hole's event horizon is a sphere of no return, a white hole's event horizon is a boundary of no admission. Objects inside a white hole can live and interact with the outside world, but since nothing can get in, the interior is cut off from the universe past. No outside event will ever affect the inside. Einstein's field equations hit physics like a tsunami in 1915. The theorists are still sorting through a wreckage. Ever since Stephen Hawking realized in the 1970s that black holes leak energy, physicists have debated how the entities could possibly shrivel up and die. If a black hole grows so small that it no longer obeys the common sense rules of stars and billiard balls, on the particle level, quantum randomness takes over and black hole could transform into a white hole. Now, if white holes did exist, they would behave like reverse black holes. Just like the math predicts, instead of pulling material inward, a white hole would blast material out into space like some kind of white chocolate fountain. So generous, these white holes and their chocolate. One of the other implications of white hole math is that they only exist as long as there isn't single speck of matter within the event horizon. As soon as single atom of hydrogen drifted into the region, the whole thing would collapse even if white holes were created back at the beginning of the universe. They would have collapsed long ago. A black hole singularity would compress down until the smallest possible size predicted by physics. Then it would rebound as a white hole. But because of the severe time dilation effect around a black hole, this event would take billions of years for even the lowest mass ones to finally get around to popping. If there were microscopic black holes created after the Big Bang, they might get around to decaying and exploding as white holes any day now. Except according to Stephen Hawking, they would have already evaporated. Another interesting idea put forth by physicists is that a white hole might explain the Big Bang. Since this is another situation where a tremendous amount of matter and energy spontaneously appeared. So comment down below your thoughts on white hole. 